Okay guys, so now that we've attached the camera, the VTX, the flight controller, the motors, my gosh, we're almost done. Here's what we're gonna do next. Now we have our receiver, okay? And we need to get our receiver connected here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, there should be, you should have either it's provided to you or it's waiting there for you. You should have some double-sided tape. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna peel the back of this double-sided tape off. I'm gonna get something, I have a very hard time doing this with my nails. So I'm just gonna get something to kind of pry that under there. Take that little piece of uh, covering off. There we go. Just like this, all right? So we're gonna take that off and make sure that you have it showing, right? Uh, just like that. And then what we wanna do is let's look at your top plate. Move the drone out of the way. Let's look at your top plate, okay? I'm gonna set this down for just a second. So your top plate is gonna sit like this when this, is, when this build is done, right? And what we wanna do is we wanna get, this is the plug for your receiver, and we wanna get the antenna wires to come out here on the top, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount, we're gonna move this back, now, either side doesn't matter. What matters right now is that we want to get the most coverage with this tape. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a spot, like let's say halfway where that diamond is, right? So right where your diamond is, line up so that the antennas are facing the back and these wires are facing the front and just stick it down right over that area, just like that, okay? With your double-sided tape, it should hold. It should hold very well, actually, okay? There is your receiver now ready to go. And what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and take our antenna, our antenna wires here, right? And we're just going to go ahead and put them through these side spots right here. One will go here and one will go here, just like that. And don't pull them too hard here. Just leave them. You don't want it because if you pull too hard, you're going to rip them right out of this receiver. Okay, so don't do that. Just kind of leave them like that. Leave yourself a little bit of a loop on each side so you can see right there and get you a good shot right there. And then if you flipped it over, it should look just like this, okay? Now, with that done, once you're at that point, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our plug and we're gonna plug them in together, all right? And there's only one way for this to go. So just plug them in together, just like this. All right. Now the color of the wiring, uh, yours will always be black, red, and yellow. I have a different plug on here just because we were trying some different wiring. But no matter what, they should line up black to black, red to red. And if yours is white or yellow, line those two up together, okay? That's it. You now have these wired together. And what we want to do is let's just plan to clean up the wiring a little bit, okay? So we're just going to kind of fold these down just like that. And you could twist them a little bit, I guess, if you want to. All right? Just like this. All right? Now, you should have a zip tie handy. And we're going to remember these slots that we were talking about. We're going to support, we're going to add additional support to your receiver by running a zip tie through the top and bottom of it. So I'm going to go on, on here. I'm going to come just like this in the middle. Go through one hole here. Come through the other hole here on this side. Bring it around just like that. Okay. And I'm going to get ready to tighten it down. One thing you need to make sure of, so do not tighten this yet. You can bring it down, but don't tighten it yet. This is your bind button right here. You have a button on here, right? You can press it, it's a little button. Do not zip tie over that button. Whatever you do, make sure to move your zip tie so that it's not pressing down on that button, okay? Once you're sure that it's not pressing down, put your zip tie here and make sure when you tighten it that it stays in the middle. That'll be the easiest way to work with this. Just kind of keep it in the middle like that. My button is right outside of that zip tie. These wires are perfect. Everything is set aside now. All right, everything is plugged in together properly. Let me make sure my plug is good, and it is. All right, and now you can go ahead and get your cutters or a pair of scissors or what have you, and you can just cut that. Let me cut mine real quickly, just like this. Okay, now, <clears throat> once we're done, we're just gonna fold this over. You see how nice that's gonna look? It's gonna come out great, okay? However, there's one more thing we need to do, and you need to be very careful with this. This is your antenna that goes on this antenna spot right here, okay? I believe actually this might be, they're, they're similar in size, all right? So you can see this is a very small opening here, and inside that little opening is a very small pin, okay? Uh, well, the pin's actually right here, and this is the hole that's gonna go in. You need to line this up very carefully, and let me just kind of zoom in here. So this is the circle, and there's a pin in the center of that circle. This is the antenna connection, and there's a hole right in the center of that. Place it over it carefully, make sure it's lined up perfectly over it, and then just press until it pops in place, just like that, okay? 
Now, one thing you don't want to do is don't get forceful with it because that plug will rip off the VTX. So be very careful. Okay, let me zoom out here. All right, once we have this done, all we need to do now is just tighten our, our stack. You remember we finger tightened it, and now we need to actually tighten it down. Not too bad though, not too much. But what you want to do now is just kind of take the screwdriver. Uh, we can remove this tape now because these are going to fall through. Take the screwdriver, line it up with the screw that you've got under here, and just put your finger on the fastener here and just spin the screwdriver. And that fastener will go down. And you're just basically, do not tighten it down too much. Just get it till it touches, and that's it. We're not trying to press these boards into the frame or into each other. All right, once you do that one, you can go across to the other one right here, and I'll turn the drone around so you can see that. Now we're gonna go to this side, okay? And we're gonna tighten that down, just like that. Okay, and we'll go to the back one here. All right, then we got one more left right over here. That's uh, this one. And now let me show you what we're we're watching for. Okay, you're gonna have a um, you're gonna have a uh, battery strap. Now I don't have the exact one you have, but I've got one very similar that I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with it. So your battery strap, you have to leave enough room to actually fit the battery strap underneath here, okay? That's what's gonna hold your battery in place. So what we're gonna do, let me see if I've got, I'm gonna grab one here that I think will be similar to what you've got. Okay. I'm gonna use this one right here. I'll just use this one right here, okay? And, uh, this is the one you have right here. All right, guys, so this is the one you have. Sorry, I need to find that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to feed this through, and this is how you're going to know if you've tightened this down too much. This has to feed through this side, and it has to feed through with the name of our company, Cyclone FPV, facing the outside, facing down. So you want all the Velcro piece to be facing up, and you're going to feed it through. And if you can't push it through like this, then it's too tight. You need to loosen up the frame a little bit or loosen up the screws just a little bit. and try to feed it through once you get it to the other side gently pull it don't go crazy because you can rip one of the circuits off the board so let's just go ahead and let's just try to feed it through here and if you're having a hard time like mine's not going exactly I'm going to loosen up just a little bit more, all right, to get that through. There we go. And there we go. Okay, and you're going to want to get it to where this piece is almost at the edge. Just leave it to where it's just like that. That's about as much as you can fold, okay? Once you've got that in, you can go ahead and begin to re-tighten just a little bit to make sure that the board's not wobbly. So, you know, you could just grab the board here and if it's wiggly a little bit, just tighten it down just a little bit, all right? Most important is make sure all the screws, make sure everything is even and not leaning one way, or like forward or backward, or one screw is too tight and the other one's not. Like you can see right here, looks like my board is leaning to here, which means this is tighter than here. So I'm gonna loosen up just a little bit here. All right, I'm gonna tighten on just a little bit here. And we're just gonna make sure it's as close to even as we can, and we're not crushing anything. Main thing is make sure nothing's touching, all right, or else we can short the boards out. So, there we go. That looks pretty good. I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied with this setup here. I think I've tightened these about as much as I need to. Let me just check. Just look with your eye and see. Like, if I look at this one now, I can see that it's kind of angling down on this corner and that this is a little high. So I'm just gonna tighten this one down just a little bit to bring them even. That's pretty close. There you go. And then if you're doing this in a classroom with your instructor, please just have him look at it one time over because what we wanna make sure, here's the most important thing. We wanna make sure that nothing on this board, on your VTX is touching your flight controller. 
And we wanna make sure nothing on your flight controller is touching any of the metal down here, okay? So you can see, for example, we have our, um, uh, our press here, our fastener here, our Preston fastener, and we have our motor wire. We wanna make sure these two aren't touching. So you don't wanna make this crank down so much to where they're touching other metal or else you're gonna short it, okay? That looks good. This one looks good as well. I'm gonna raise this just a little bit. It's a little close to that, so let me raise it just a little bit. All right, all right. Yep, I think that's gonna be perfect for what we need. And that's it. Now we can go ahead and take our top plate, hold the wire in there, and just take your six millimeter screws and run them in and tighten it down, just like this. There's one. Two. Three. Oops. And four. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to stop here, let you guys catch up, make sure everything looks good, all the wires are zip tied or cleaned up. Everything is out of the way, like it should be. And you do have this antenna wire here, right? Just remember that antenna wire, you're just gonna basically feed it right through that hole right there, and that's it, okay? And that should, uh, make sure you don't push it too far that it unclips or detaches. You don't want your antenna wire to detach from your VTX, but there you go. So you can leave it just like that if you'd like, okay? There's no need to pull it all the way through. You just wanna give it a place to where it can sit, just like that while it still remains plugged in. All right, guys, that's what it should look like right there, okay? And we'll come back and close this up.